Dalton, the inside pitch. Air Force snuffs it out. Christian covered up by Hunter Altman, junior outside linebacker from Orlando. Altman was a safety last year. Put on some pounds over the summer and moved down to outside linebacker. Had really the only big play for TCU, or rather for Air Force in that TCU game last year, a game they lost 38-14 had a block punt, returned for a touchdown against the Horn Frogs. Second and 10. Dalton out of the shotgun. Inside give, Christian. Running room on the outside. Christian's second effort near the first down. He picks up eight on the second down carry. Altman again, the tackle. The big guys up front on the right side, Montgomery and Richmond did a good job of sealing off the defensive line of Air Force, creating that scene for Christian to hit. Third down to see if Air Force can keep it from picking it up. They've been pretty good thus far. Third down percentages. Third down and two. Christian finds a seam in the middle of the Air Force D. Fumbles the football. Picked up by Air Force. Christian easily had the first down. Reebok recovers the fumble. Not a lot. They didn't throw that much back then. A little bit better in that area. Sure enough, running the ball. This is Dalton again. Just rather uh, Watts on the handoff for Dalton. And the running room. And, and Air Force did a good job of getting off the field. I mentioned that they were the worst last year on third down conversions. This game, they've done a lot better. I think they, TCU was 0 for 3 in the first half on third down conversion. And the one third down they converted, Christian fumbled. Second down and five after the first down run by Watts. So shotgun five wide, empty backfield. Caught, first down, Massey slipping to the 34 before John Raybould finally brings him down. And, and he's a slippery guy. He's probably the, the fastest player on this TCU football team. They really like him. He's got exceptional speed. He's got to hold on to the ball. Four catches last week in that game against Texas. Remember, TCU led that game 10-0 at the half before... The Longhorn onslaught, 34-3. Dalton and the Horn Frog offense had only 17 yards of offense in the third quarter. So they have nearly matched that in three snaps against the Air Force defense five days later. Well, they forgot about last Saturday, and that's what they had to do. And I'm telling you, that quick turnaround, you don't have to sit around for a six, seven days thinking about that lopsided loss you just took from an in-state rival or an old Southwest Conference foe, you immediately have to forget about it and get back to work because you know you've got a Thursday night game. It's all about Air Force. And a Mountain West Conference opener. When your goal is to win the Mountain West Conference, this is a game that matters more, even though Texas may have had more national flair to it. Jimmy Young, the red shirt freshman, makes the grab on the flanker screen near a first down at the 45. Drew Fowler makes the stop. We've seen a lot of that tonight. These hit screens, wide receiver screens, and big boys trying to get out there and make some blocks. Big Nick Richmond and Giles Montgomery out here taking on the little defender. He didn't have a shot. Aaron Kirkhoff. He had two of the big fellas coming after him on that one. Third down and one. Two tight end package for TCU and an eye backfield. Penalty flag on the snap. Looks like motion on TCU. Correcting the first name. Only two of six on third down. TCU, this is third down and six. They need the 45. Nearly got the 45 as Reagan. Five wide empty backfield on first and 10. Pressure from Air Force. Dalton gets rid of it. They beat the blitz to the outside. Brock pushing for a first down. Carson Bird. Looks like he stops him a yard short. Here to USC, UCLA, Utah, BYU, many more. Check it out. CSTV.com's going west. In the west tonight in Colorado Springs where the TCU offense has it good field position. Ryan Christian, the second down carry. Close to a TCU first down. Just another note on their special teams, Air Force, they lost their special teams coordinator, Brian Schneider. He left. 
to go to the Oakland Raiders. And so now it's just a, a special team coaches by committee. You've got the running backs coach in there, Jamal Singleton, and Blaine Morgan, the coordinator. I believe he's helping out. And Tim Burton, the offensive line coach. All three so instead guys. Of going, yeah, instead of going out and, and hiring a, another special team coordinator, they just spread it responsibilities throughout the coaching staff. Coaching staff that includes 10 Air Force grads. So not only Troy Calhoun leading as the first academy grad as head coach of Air Force, but 10 guys on his staff total. Presser got to Dalton, pass incomplete intended for Reagan. Yeah, that was a low hit as well. A little corner blitz. It's homecoming on Thursday night at Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs, Colorado, home of the Air Force Academy Falcons. Carter Blackburn with Brian Jones, producer Rick Angelo, director Will Belke, our entire CSTV crew. The yardage almost even between a TCU team who struggled on offense in 07 and an Air Force team playing with a slightly revamped offense in 2007. Ryan Christian trying to get the ground game going for the Horn Frogs on this drive. Only a pickup of two on second down. Third and long coming up for the Frogs. Big third down, get off the field. Air Force defense, bow down right now. Get off the field. TCU only two of seven on third down. We have had only four third down conversions this entire game. Tough D. Empty backfield, five wide, third down and eight. TCU needs the 33. Dalton finds Walter Bryant for the first down and more. Garrett Reebok finally makes the stop, but Walter Bryant, the junior from San Angelo Central, Texas. Just gave him way too much cushion. 25-yard pickup. You're going to play zone. You don't want to drop past the first down marker. He should have deep help. You can't give him that much cushion. He's wide open. I know you got five wides. He's still backpedaling. He's looking at the inside receiver. He's got Brian out here wide open. Screen it to Ryan Christian. Blockers ahead of him to the seven. Big third down conversion there for TCU. That was huge. Mark it at the six. It will be first and goal. From the six, remember on uh, second down and goal from the five, they went to the air. Dalton's second touchdown pass of his young career. Both have been to Irvin Dickerson. That's how TCU got its touchdown in the first quarter. This is first and goal from the six. Dalton running the option. Keeps it. Dropped by Raybold, but... Dalton picks up a couple of yards to set up second down and goal. TCU coming here knowing they have to stop the option, even though Air Force is talking about passing the ball a lot more, but they got their own little brand of option with Dalton. Not a chance with Raybo there to stack him up. Actually allowed him to play both men. He doesn't take the quarterback. He had a chance to go out and get the pitch man as well. Four wide, five wide on second down and goal from the four. Dalton tries to keep it again. No chance. Julian Madrid, senior from San Diego on the stop. Julian Madrid, another one of those talented linebackers. They tried to move him outside, but you had Ray Bowl and Fowler out there, so they moved him inside. Well, back-to-back -back runs by Dalton. You think TCU goes to the air here on third goal for, from the three? Huge play. They're going to pass. They've been successful with passing the ball. This in the red zone. I look for a pass. To the air. Caught short. Spotted it right where Carney got rid of the football. Now TCU football, second down and two. And off. Ryan Christian running straight ahead. Christian, a guy who was a great high school running back, Aledo, Texas, 2,000 rushing yards, 28 touchdowns as a running split wide. Now he goes in motion. What is he? Wide receiver, running back, blocking back. He's a blocking back. <laughs> Donald Massey makes the grab with three wide on second and one. Dalton pumps to the middle, first down. 
Shea Reagan. Continuing an incredible stretch by the TCU tight end. Every catch of his career has gone for a first down. Averaging 23 yards a catch this year. First in his career, rather. That is first all-time at TCU. Big Shea. All the folks in Idaloo, Texas. They're dancing in the streets. They're two-stepping <laughs> in the streets of Idaloo. I actually spoke at Idaloo this, uh, this past May. I'm in West Texas. I want to hear about this. First and 10, TCU driving. Christian, the first down give, one yard pickup. Jared Marvin there to meet him. Yeah, did he meet him? You're that pop. Tell me about your 80% spike in crime in Idaho, Texas <laughs> in the weeks following. Dalton on second and nine. Oh, okay. Five at the end of the year, four out of the last five years, TCU has won double digit games. Dalton over the middle, caught by Massey. The red zone again. First play of the fourth quarter. This is first and th first and ten from the 22. Dalton to the end zone, incomplete. So Bryant checks out. Second and ten, inside give. Watts running in a spread four wide formation. Dalton the hand to Christian. Appears to have the first down at the 12. First and 10. Christian the handoff again. Picks up a couple yards. Carson Bird, the cornerback. Section 8 getting into it. Second and 9. Play action to Christian. Dalton to the end zone. Caught touchdown. T